This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are back out on a job. This will be the third installment of this job. And so what we've got going on here today, it's gonna be a concrete job today. And so this, let me just take a look, take a look up here and show you where we're at. This is the job where we caught some gutters and installed a patio and a channel drain out here we'll go take a look at that so this is where we did this patio and the channel drain here and the homeowner says that they sit out here in this in this sunroom and just stare at the water going into the channel drain they're so so happy with it but anyway what ended up happening here is one of the neighbors had the alleyway repaved with asphalt and this huge dump truck asked this homeowner if he could if he could drive this huge dump truck up the homeowner's alleyway here and the homeowner said no no way and then when the homeowner wasn't home they did it anyway and they busted up a bunch of the concrete here and so we're just going to replace all of it so let me show you what happened here with the previous contractor for example he cracked a couple pieces here and that was his repair job so that's what the contractor came back here and did and said it was going to be good the other thing they did they made some huge ruts in here and they just filled it in with with uh, wood chips and called it done so the homeowner said okay you know let's go ahead and get this whole thing replaced and we should be good to go so that's what we're working on today should be about two two concrete trucks full with concrete and then, and then the curb too so it's a pretty big job here very good happy birthday Man, you say a little driveway. Yeah, a little driveway. Yeah. Three army. Three army. I get a lot of comments on my channel when we do concrete work about rebar. Rebar? And here in this area, they don't require rebar. They don't use rebar. So this concrete is about 40 years old. It's got no gravel underneath it. And it's got no rebar in it and it's been just fine. So when I lived in Colorado, we had as much rebar as you could possibly fit in the concrete we would put in there because their subsoils have what's called bentonite. Bentonite shifts around a lot and it just, the concrete cracks to pieces without it. So just different soils in different areas. Antonio's taking the first load of concrete off for recycling. Break it up some more.
they're gonna put that thing right there. You got it, yep. Yeah. See that, all right antonio's back from recycling and harvey's on the way with a new spare wheel so we may be able to get some concrete busted up today, but it's not going too well for us. Here's our second load ready for recycling. This is the sand rock quarry I'm at right now and we use sand rock as a base under our concrete. It's very, very inexpensive because it's very easy to, to mine and you don't have to use explosives and everything else like they do with regular granite. So that's why you don't see gravel under our concrete around here. You see this brown sand rock. It looks like dirt. I can do 
two on this big truck. We are out here, it's the next morning, and I've got five tons of sand rock. I've got the concrete buggy, and I brought my plate compactor just to try to speed things up a little bit. And Tony just got here, he's getting the bobcat warmed up. So we're gonna try to make up for lost time from yesterday and get this thing rolling. The other dump truck is just arriving and he's got a big load of sand rock. So we're trying to clear a path here so they can back up and unload the sand rock and then the dump truck will be available for more concrete chunks. So it's kind of like musical materials here. The first truck of concrete is on the ground here, and so we ran out and got another load of sand rock with my little dump truck here. And so we're getting things ready now for the second load of concrete, the second truck, and that will be the following day. 
It is later the next day and I was on another job doing some riprap delivering and the guys finished up at the pour and so Antonio's just giving this thing a broom finish here at the road and so unfortunately I wasn't able to film it because I was on another job but let's take a look at how it turned out. We are back out here to do our finish grading and finish up with this job. So I've got some dirt with me. I've got the mini skid and I've got Lynn on the job. So we're just trying to clean up this edge here where they pulled the forms out and we have kind of a little gap here. And so what we're doing is we're taking some of this concrete, this residual concrete and either stuffing it down in the, in the edge there or some of these bigger chunks, we'll just get rid of those. So I just talked to the homeowner, they're really, really happy with everything. Turned out real nice. So we've got some dirt here, and we've got a bucket here. So let me show you how we use physics to get the dirt into the bucket. Over here at the very top, we cut a line a couple of times across the asphalt. You can see there where we cut it and it, it, this is so crumbly that it just couldn't take it. So I'm going to try to patch this up with some hydraulic concrete patch and try to keep this from turning into a pothole. So that's our last piece for, for this job. We are finished with this job. So we got a little bit of trash that we're taking out of here. And Lynn is getting some last minute leaf blowing done. We got a little bit of debris right here and right here as well. 